Hey guys, it's Marco again. In today's video, I'll show you how to craft epic items in phase 3 of SOD. First quest starts in Ashenville inside of Emerald Dream Realm. That's why you have to go to Bow Shadow and pass through the portal. After you're inside the Emerald Nightmare, head south towards Warsong Lumber Mill, pass it and continue until you enter a zone in which you're slowed. Then you'll find a big mob called Nightmare Amalgamation at 8768 coordinates. Just hit it with an ability or something until you get the flavor text, drink in your fear, drink in your pain. You can exit the nightmare after you get the flavor text and get to the field captain at 8940 coordinates. Talk to her and she's going to offer you a quest after a short chat. She sends you to Moonglay to find a druid trainer Loganar. Talk with him and accept his next quest. Currently he's bugged and sometimes he won't spawn, you'll have to find other layers where he isn't bugged. He then sends you all the way to Swamp of Soros to find Itarius in his cave at 1371 coordinates. Itarius tasks you with checking the temple of Atal Hakar, also known as Sunken Temple. Head to 5676 and enter inside of the temple. You can log out skip to avoid most of the mobs and then just enter your save or someone else's save but they need to clear until Iranicus. As a rogue or a druid you can do this part solo, but other classes will have difficulties if there are mobs. I could have made it in this attempt, but it was already 3 am and my brain was thinking of how to do it with speed and I wasn't looking at how much time do I have left to do it and then I got locked in Sunken Temple. Big whoops, but it is what it is. There is no notification that you finished the quest, but you need to enter the Iranicus's room. Head back to Itarius and he sends you back all the way to Moonglade. Now things turn spicy for me. Druid despawned and there was only one layer in Moonglade, so I waited for the druid from 3 am up until 10 am. I quickly swapped to the new spawn layer and as soon as you accept the quest, shadowy figure appears and the druid disappears for everybody else. You can get him back by killing him, but you'll lose 25 scenario circle reputation. However, I strongly advise killing him to become hero of your realm. If you like gold, you can pay for your services as well. I wouldn't be a rogue if I didn't abuse that fact really. But after you turn in the quest, you can see a shadowy figure, talk with her, accept her quest, then listen to her story, finish the quest and take a new one which sends you to Booty Bay Inn. There on the first floor you will find an injured gnome, knight of some renown, first talk to him, then you'll be able to accept his quest. This will take you to Jaguero's island of the coast of Strangletorn at 4085 coordinates. Loot the little dirt pile, then talk to the tadpole and he'll give you the bracers. Head back all the way to Moonglade again and talk to the shadowy figure. Now you'll have the final quest to go and kill the amalgamation in Ashenville. He has a lot of HP, but he has weak hits. And you'll definitely need a party for it or even a raid. When you finally kill him, you get Mantle of Nightmares and all you have to do now is to go back to Moonglay once again and finish the quest. If you have 250 crafting skill, you'll be able to pick up any recipes, but since I had 225, I couldn't pick up any. So I'll have to go and increase my leatherworking skill and come back to learn the recipes. And that's it for the video, thank you for watching and bye bye.